thank you for this. I take this opportunity to warmly welcome the incoming uh, presiding judge of the Court of Appeal here in Nakuru, Lady Justice Fatuma Sichale, and the three uh, judges who will serve with her, Justices Ochieng, Achode, and Korir. You'll be happy to note that the small claims court which you inaugurated here uh, on May 16th, a uh, little less than four months today, we already have 640 cases filed in that court, and out of those, 435 have already been resolved. Honorable Chief Justice, the alternative justice systems um, model, which you launched on May 16th, we already have 86 cases filed in that, um, in that registry, out of, which, out of which 53 have already been resolved. Honorable Chief Justice, out of those 53, two are uh, succession matters which have been in our court since 2009 and they have unlocked into the economy more than 1.5 billion. Uh, hitherto, we've had three branches of the Court of Appeal, namely Mombasa, Kisumu, and Nyeri. Nakuru and Eldred have been sub-registries of the Court of Appeal, occasionally served by judges on circuit. The setting up of the fourth branch of the Court of Appeal in Nakuru is in keeping with our Chief Justice's blueprint of social trans transformation through access to justice. The Constitution decrees that the judiciary, one of the arms of the state, should work towards ensuring that litigants resolve their disputes by having a process that is affordable, that the courts are proximate, and that there is a speedy conclusion of the, of the disputes. The court being launched today has a vast catchment area in terms of its jurisdiction. These include Eldoret, Cabernet, Kitale, Kapenguria, Lodwa, Naivasha, Narok, Bomet, Kericho, and, and Nyaururu, as this is, these are the places where we have high court stations, as well as the Employment and Labor Relations Court as, and uh, um, the Environment, sorry, the Employment and Labor Relations Court and the Environment and Land Court. What this means is that appeals from this course end up in Nakuru, which, has, as indicated above, has not had a permanent bench of the Court of Appeal before. We are now 29, sorry, and this is the highest number ever. We will no doubt ensure that justice is accessible to consumers of justice, as no one will be denied justice on account of having to cover vast distances in order to access justice. As we speak today, the statistics of the pending cases are as follows. Civil appeals pending, 572, out of which 116 are land cases. The civil applications that are pending are 270. In respect of criminal matters, the number of appeals pendings, pending are 474. However, out of these 474, only 165 are ready for hearing, while 309 are notices of appeal whose records are yet to be prepared. Um, insofar as the pending criminal applications are concerned, these are 30. As regards the Laureate sub-registry, which falls under our, our jurisdiction, the statistics are as follows. There are 235 pending civil appeals and 31 pending applications. As for the criminal appeals, we have 101 criminal appeals pending. Um, the first permanent, bench, um, uh, first permanent bench of the Court of Appeal in Nakuru, our foremost task is to see that we greatly reduce the backlog, and I can assure you, Honorable Chief Justice, that we are equal to the task. With the establishment of a permanent Court of Appeal bench in Nakuru, the accessibility of the court has been enhanced significantly in this large and strategic city and its environs. Further, the reorganization of the sub-registries across the Court of Appeal will improve the efficient administration of these courts and positively impact the court, users, and litigants as regards access to justice, social 
social transformation through access to justice. And it, be, it goes beyond the physical access to courts. This is what it is. It is the efficient service delivery in the administration of justice. It goes to the very sub substance of justice provision itself, the tangible, the transformative impacts experienced in our homes and in our communities through the legal services rendered by the courts and tribunals. Expectations are extremely high on the expeditious uh, resolution of disputes in this court. So you must go right ahead there and reduce that pending backlog. Just the same way we are saying, we need also a permanent bench in Eondoret. So within no time, living on these hopes and dreams, we believe shortly we'll also be launching another court in Eondoret of the judiciary called performance measurements um, and division of the uh, Department of the Judiciary. So now the people of the Rift Valley, uh, the expansive Rift Valley, uh, running from Trukana to the north of Narok County to the south, will no longer have to travel either to Nairobi or to Nyeri to wait for the Court of Appeal circuit visits they have their court right here. As the lawyers say, they'll just be leaving the high court to go next door to the court of appeal, where we continuously make interventions to ensure our justice system is accessible, is also cost effective, is timely, and it is efficient. Those are the aspirations of our people that are well articulated in the Constitution. By having a permanent Court of Appeal bench in Nakuru, we are reducing the geographical distance traveled by litigants and the cost of accessing appellate justice. The ELRC, the Magistrates' Courts, and even the Cadiz Courts in this station have all been at the forefront in reducing case backlog and ensuring timely delivery of justice. And for this, we have named this Nakuru Law Courts Mbonde Lahaki. <laughs> Our expectation is that the Nakuru Court of Appeal will follow in this trend, all of you, to support the judges rent by your leadership in realizing the target of ensuring that appeals that are now pending in the Court of Appeal are concluded within a period of one year. In fact, this is the station that is going to become a reality in regard to the targets we have set in our vision that all the matters in the appeal will be concluded within one year. Looking at you speak here, my sister judge, I am completely convinced that we will have these appeals completed within one year. We've been advocating for a case management system that enables the court to take charge of matters once they have been filed they no longer, they come to court so that they are hand and disposed of. These collaborative efforts have targeted the infrastructural needs of the judiciary to enable us realize the goal of having a magistrate's court in all the sub-counties, what we now call constituencies. This uh, Nakuru County, and it is apparent that there are some constituencies that do not have a court. Uh, this is uh, Kuresoi North and Kuresoi South. Rongai, 
Subukia, Joro, Gyogyo, and Bahati still do not have magistrates' court stations. We look forward to working with you, Your Excellency, and your government in addressing uh, these gaps in ensuring that our people do not have to travel long distances.